Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Bamolman and I have designed an app called Bills Monitor for my mobile systems and application course using Android Studios. A common thing every grown-up has to do is pay bills. According to NFCC's survey conducted in 2015, approximately 1 in 4 Americans do not pay their bills on time. That's 25% of the population in America. Because it is so tedious, individuals often either procrastinate, forget, or avoid paying bills at the last minute, which quite often results in late, delayed, or overdue payments. Even flexibilities, even with flexibilities like paper and or paperless bill pay, people sometimes forget to check their emails or mailbox, or sometimes we tend to misplace paper statements at home. Not paying bills on time will affect credit limits, it will charge late fees, to accounts, place account holds, and can increase interest rates. To avoid those circumstances, I've created a software that will help users manage, maintain, keep track of bills, and remind them of due dates that are soon approaching. This app is aimed at individuals who are exceptionally busy, use a lot of services and companies, who are forgetful, or just need help keeping track of their bills each month. This app will be for anyone who needs help being reminded of which bills are due each month. This can include a college student, to a working adult, or to someone who runs a business. As long as the user owns a smartphone device, then this software will be available to them. The app will allow users to add, edit, and delete services they use. Once the payees are added to the user, once the payees are added, the user will have the option to enter due dates of those services due, the amount due, payment link if the user wishes to be directed to their bank's website once they choose pay now in the app. The app will allow different payees to be stored in either of the four categories, credit cards, utilities, insurance, or other. In addition, the app will keep track of paid, unpaid, and overdue bills. That will be the subcategory of the app. Left figure shows the application main screen where the user can add payees, pay bills, or change settings. Right figure shows the setting options which can be configured. Here we can change the currency type, either USD or Euros. Reminder time for notification and date when to be notified, either on the due date, three days before, or a week before. This is the adding payees and bill pay screen. Left figure shows the screen once bill pay, sorry, once pay bill is chosen on the app's main screen. This shows the four categories which payees can be under and the subcategory of either overdue, paid, or unpaid bills. Right figure shows the screen when adding payees. The name of the payees required, due date, and the category. Amount due and payment URL is optional. If the user clicks paid button, a green check mark will appear on the bottom of the screen as shown in the left figure, and the pay payee will be moved to paid subcategory under the appropriate division, either credit card, utility, insurance, or other. In this case, since American Express is paid, it will be moved in credit card category under the paid subcategory. Right figure shows the unpaid payees. We can see in the top figure that Centris credit card is unpaid yet and there is no green arrow on the bottom screen which verifies that the payment is still pending. In conclusion, this app will be appropriate for this class because we as grad students sometimes in the midst of assignments, classes, and exams forget to pay our bills. This app can help us and many others who are in the similar position with keeping track of bills before we get in the habit of late fees. As young grad students, we are just building and developing our credits right now, and it's important that we find ways that will help us maintain our credit and avoid late penalties. It will allow users to manage their monthly bills, keep track of payments already made, and soon approaching deadlines also. This will also be beneficial to keep track of previous expenses and expense history. For instance, we can compare the amount of credit card bills which the previous months or the year before that. Lastly, every app 
can always be improved in one way or another. In order to imp improve this app in the near future, we can add additional tabs that will differentiate in different months and or years depending upon how much data the user has inputted. In addition, adding report section that will allow the user to see how much they have spent on credit card bills, utility, insurance, or others, and compare it with different months or compare it yearly depending on the data they have input it. And that's my reference used. Okay, so next up is showing you guys um, a demo of how the app actually works. Um, I'm going to be using Bluestacks app player to show you um, the live demo of the application Bills Tracker. Once the Bills Tracker has been installed, this is the main application screen that's going to show up. It's going to have three buttons, how to pay, e, pay bills, and settings. Let's go ahead and first look at the settings tab. Once settings is um, selected, um, the user can set the currency. It's going to be either USD or Euro. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and choose USD, the reminder time. The user can change um, anywhere um, in the 24-hour cycle. I'm going to do, let's say, 18, 42, 642, and then uh, remind before it has three options, either on the due date, three days before the due date, or seven days before. I'm going to choose um, seven days before because I'd like to pay my bills a week early. Okay, so save. Those settings has been changed, as we can see right here. Uh, pay bills. We have currently one credit card entry. Um, zero utility, zero insurance, and zero others. Let's go ahead and add a few more payees so we can see um, under the pay bills um, section. So add a payee. Add a payee will have um, several options. Payee description that we will have to enter the amount, payment URL. Um, usually it's always the bank information which we would like um, the user to be directed to so they can go ahead and pay the bill. Um, the due date and the category. So right here, let, I'm going to add American Express um, as my pay description. Since the amount varies from month to month, I'm going to go ahead and enter zero amount. Uh, for the URL, I will prefer to pay from SunTrust Bank. Due date, I would like to be reminded on 10th of August. To pay my bill, um, this is going to be a credit card um, category. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to add another one. Uh, this one is going to be gas south. Amount due each month. I have a fixed rate and it's usually $45. Um, I will not, um, since this is optional, I don't want to add a URL just to show you guys that it is an optional um, method. For entering the URL, the due date I would be like to be reminded on is 5th of August. I'm going to click done. This is going to be a utility bill. Save. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at pay bills. Um, there's two um, credit cards in the entry and one utility, zero insurance and zero other. Um, let's go ahead and look at the utility first. We added gas south. We haven't paid anything um, in there or we haven't selected anything. So it should be in the unpaid. Um, tab so there it is gas south and it's uh, showing that the due date is August the 5th of 2017 so if um, the user decides to pay in advance or you know has already sent the bill uh, has already sent the check they can go ahead and kind of select this and either say paid or paid now um, if we click paid it's going to move, it's going to show that green arrow that it just showed and it's going to shift. Now it's not in the unpaid and it has moved to the paid category. So this shows that um, Gas, South ha Gas South bill has been paid. And usually if we add more utilities, it will show up under this. Um, it'll just be divided under overdue, paid and unpaid. If you have paid um, all the bills then it'll show up here and then you can keep track of how much expenses you have to do each month for utilities the only thing is that you have to click and look at the amount and add up your total every month to look at how much um, utility bill you have to pay each month okay so that's that let's go ahead and look at the credit card 
The credit card is, um, we added one and one was already added from before. Both will be unpaid. Uh, we added American Express and Discover card was added before. Um, so American Express amount is zero dollars because it varies from month to month and due date is the 10th. So let's, if we click pay now, it should direct us to the website that, the bank information website that we had entered before. So here it is, centrus.com. Um, there is a security warning, but you can kind of continue it and enter the uh, user ID, password, and kind of um, do the online bill pay and go from there. Once the bill has been paid, be sure to sign off and then go back to the application and click paid. So that um, moved from unpaid, since we had two items that was in unpaid and moved to the paid. So American Express has been paid. We can do the same thing for Discover card. The only thing is we have to click on it, uh, select either paid or paid now, pay now, and do the following same thing. So let's click paid. Okay, so now, um, We've um, kind of sort of discussed the credit card and the utility. Um, insurance and other works the same way as credit card utility. Um, this is sort of a good app to keep track of. Let's go back all the way. Okay, this app is sort of a good uh, way to keep track of bills, the bills that you paid. Um, it should remind you, it will send a notification via your phone, um, whichever settings you choose in um, the settings tab. So it's a great way to keep up. The only thing I would recommend in the future um, is adding different categories in a more organized way where the user can kind of take over. And also, um, for example, like credit card, we have two credit cards. Um, so if we do paid, both are paid, but I would like to see the total amount here saying total credit cards paid, and then it would have both amounts. But that would require um, for us to enter amount physically, and sometimes we are lazy and we don't like to enter amount physically unless we have to. So um, that is one thing I would recommend, but this is a, a good app. Um, this is a good app to um, keep up with bills and um, also be reminded of them of when are when they're due and also um, keep track of like past history expenses and all of that. Um, so that is the app I created. I hope. Um, you guys um, kind of follow through and I'm sorry if I went too fast or I skipped over anything but thank you for listening um, take care